Let's take just a moment and see what is actually going on when we're running Jupyter Notebooks. I'm going to start by going to the command line and starting Jupyter Notebook. When I do that, it's actually spinning up a notebook server. And once that happens, I get to this navigation page here. I can, if I want, start a new notebook like this. Or I can go to the navigation page and find one that I already have running, like this example right here. Each one of these tabs is a separate instance of Python, which we call a kernel. And they can run independently, so the, the values of variables in this one tab here are independent of the values in this tab over here. So these two programs can be running separately without influencing each other. If I want to run a notebook, all I have to do is click on a cell and click the Run button. And here I can see the output from the command that I ran. If I go over to this notebook, I can do a similar thing. Click on the first cell and click Run. This cell, however, is a little bit different because it's waiting for me to type something in. So the code is actually still running. The kernel is still doing something here. And I can tell this by this little asterisk that I see over here on the left side of the cell. That's different from this cell here, which is finished running and has a number in it. So if I type something in here and hit Enter, then I get some output and the star turns into a 1, meaning that that cell is done executing. Now I can go down here and click on another cell, and again I get some output here. If it bothers you having this output and you want to clear things up, you can just go up to the cell menu and say All Output Clear, and it clears the screen off.